I, th I feel like the letter should be an afterthought. I think we should very gracefully and sensitively enter this space, understanding his perspective. So, so um, and then, as an afterthought, saying this wouldn't be happening if we didn't have a space. I don't think it necessarily has to be a demand. I think we should occupy anyway. 
Yeah, I should, I should throw out that the letter and the demanding uh, nature of the letter was actually his suggestion. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like, didn't like, we, like I, wanted, I was trying to respond when we were in Stack. Okay. The yeah. Just like it wasn't really in process, but like he, I mean, he suggested after his, you know, years and years and years as part of the rights movement, he's like, this is a proven formula to set a deadline, to be demanding, to be very clear as to what the content is. Yeah. We'll be dropping this letter for weeks, you know, so I think... To kind of jump on the back of what you said, it's a safe space, it's big, plenty of room, and it's a bar, it's got a lot of logic, you know, we need right now. That's the thing we should probably occupy first, and then to that level, instead of having some kind of pictures that are for him. Let's see how it goes. I agree with him. We should drop my first and then, and then send a letter. Yeah, but I also think that since it's location, it's so far away from the city that it's not a good base to like get people there and then get people back to the city. It's, a, it's like everyday transportation to get people there. I'll be my number one. Two hours, three days, and you just make So it may be a What happened? Just real quick, it seems like a lot of people are like throwing their hands up and stuff. Would it be appropriate to facilitate this discussion so that everyone has an opportunity to speak? Is there anyone willing to do that? I think stack. I think stack too. The, the one other thing I want to point out, and it's in regards to the fact that we'll be in private land, when we were occupying Kanawa, we had some issues making some make, about being able to make decisions uh, about how to address problems within the camp. Um, if we have that problem on private land, we're going to run into the possibility that we're going to get this gentleman who has extended us an invitation in trouble. I am neither really completely neither for nor against this. I just like there are a couple of things we really need to make sure we take into consideration. I said to the other group uh, previously that if we end up with people with drugs, that kind of thing, he can go to jail by Virginia law because it's his property. And these are things we need to be prepared for and we need to have, like, we need to be aware of this stuff before we just run off to occupy. Yeah. And we yeah, understand the noise ordinance is a big issue as well. Well, we did have consensus to make camp sober, uh, and that was proposed and passed. Um, let me finish this yeah, time. And also that we have quiet hours, which is 10 to 7 a.m., and that was consensed upon. So it will be the same. I mean, I think it's smart to ensure that whatever small encampment we might have at first, people are dedicated to being sober. Um, and that group, that first group, would be expressly like, yes, this is a sober camp. But what I wanted to say about the letter was 
I think we should send it to him so he knows how we're talking about his house and his space. Not necessarily to get the okay from him, but just to see how he feels about the language and be sensitive to his space. <laughs> Uh, occupying, like, threat, you know, like we, we, we said we were going to occupy this house, and then there was some idea of occupying anyway. I do like the idea of occupying until he meets the demands. Not necessarily if you don't, we will occupy, but the other way around. It's, that way, it's that, that way, it's 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 more well, negative feedback instead of positive feedback. Uh, in, 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 yeah. yeah. So, uh, about the whole sober space and uh, enforcement issue, the issue that we had was that we couldn't enforce things because we were on public property and anyone could come who we, we, they wanted. When we're in occupation on private property, we have a little bit more of an ability to enforce these things because we can choose who can be there and who can um, Also, to throw out just, just relaying the information as to what Mr. Moon said about the letter, he sort of invested his trust into the occupation to craft the language appropriately and gave us a couple of guidelines on how to do it. So then those who met with him just sort of got together after the meeting and very quickly put together that language. Who met with him? It was myself, Bobby, Alan, Bill, and Danielle. So is this like de facto leadership that's happening? Just wondering. Because did anyone else have the option to meet with him? This was... A, it was this actually is, something that I took upon myself last night because nobody else was. Okay. And then I spoke with him this morning and he said that he had room to accommodate about five other people. Okay. So, I left that option open for a time. Okay. I didn't receive that. I didn't receive So we have two other people. I didn't receive that invitation either. It would have been helpful because I also went to talk to him separately after they did, and it brought to light our hierarchical flatness, potential disorganization issues. He was confused as to why two separate entities were coming to him, although I did have additional information for him from a different group that they didn't have, and still didn't look the most professional. Um, I agree with your point about uh, showing him the letter since we're talking about his land, but I'm not liking the whole, um, what I'm seeing from some people of, since this person says something, all of a sudden it's very powerful because of who he is, I'm not liking that. Um, there's something else with it's not extortion, it's extortion when we are uh, redressing our grievances with the feds. Are you going to bring it to you or are you just going to go out there? Actually, what we're doing. It's kind of a way that we're trying to kind of like, if you are infringing on their like property, instead of trying to sort of say, like, we're going to make it like kind of difficult to work on somebody else's property. Yeah, I'm just like, they've been bending laws to get a lot of us in trouble anyway, and I just don't want anyone to be anti right now. To end up in a bad position because we're like, uh, I think that it's better for like, not necessarily better, but like, less. We're like, really, I think mean, like, I know we can be in this space, but I think like a way we could phrase it would be like, we're, we're gonna go, and then these are the reasons why we are gonna be really in the way we because you made it possible for us to occupy. <laughs> Okay. I think that's fair. I have a question. Uh, this is laws are all about how they're perceived by these people who enforce them. So, could he not perceive a demand like that as extortion? He could perceive them, but I don't think they'd be held up in a court of law. Right. Do I know that? I don't know. Um, well, I, I don't know whether or not it could or could not be for the law enforcement. Kind of clarification on your legal, legal expertise. Okay. Because, because... Absolutely. So, what is that? A lot of our team is that I have a pretty pressing concern of um, who is a movement that is a 
women who are pressing for a better political system, unemployment system, with more transparency and accountability. But we're also asking the mayor to take on our demands and listen to us because we're going to use a carrot and stick approach, which is sort of the like stick approach of the carrot, which is, you know, bribe, de facto bribery and political lobbying. I think I mean, there would definitely be some serious, you know, implications of criminal activity there. This is a whole nother ball of wax. This is saying, we have grievances with the laws that you uphold that are inherently unconstitutional. And we would like you to remedy these. If not, that's fine. Then we will accept the invitation that your neighbor has given us. And that's where we'll occupy First, I, I completely agree that one of the things that I personally am here to address is, is that system we were talking about. But at the same time, um, we haven't changed that system yet. So we have to take that into account. We have to take into account that it's still operating the way it is. And that we may be able to use that for our by turning that around and saying the people can do this too. It, uh, it's not something that they've necessarily considered, number one. Uh, and, yeah. So I'm just thinking that in an effort to get consensus on this, um, that if we change the language, not necessarily to put it down, but change it to we're letting you know that we are going to come live in your neighborhood in 24 hours unless you agree to give us somewhere else to go. Not we're demanding that you do this in... And, and so it's just, a, it's just a slight change in the wording, then we're still making demand. Go ahead. So, um, so you don't want us to say we are demanding that you give us permission to stay somewhere else? Or are you saying that we can still list those demands and then say, we're just letting you know that if these demands haven't been met and we don't have somewhere to stay in the city, we will be occupied? Yes. Okay. It's a slight change, but it comes off as being a little less demanding, and I think that seems to be the, what I've heard from other people as an issue. Um, I think we need to take out the explicit statement of occupation, because I think that's something we need to vet further, because if we do that, we need to be, we need to up our game. We need to be more respectful, we need to be more cohesive, uh, and if we do act a fool, the mayor can see us because he's right next door. Although it's a great place to be, it's also a bad place to be. So I suppose the next question, and perhaps an equally as pertinent question would be, do we even think it's a good idea that we occupy this location at all? <laughs> okay, well, there, there seems to be some pretty general consensus, um, so now we should address the dissent. She never finished what she said earlier. 
I was just going to say, I think that because of the national attention that this is getting, we have to go with the momentum of it and, and, and do it, whether we do it for 24 hours or 24 days, jump on it now to get the, to ride the momentum. Yeah, let's listen. I don't, number one, I don't disagree with that. Uh, at the same time, that means that we all have to take some initiative and do some research. Because we don't really, I know that I, personally, don't really completely know what this guy is about. I don't completely know what his paper has been about. Uh, what exactly are we going to be tying ourselves to? Uh, those are considerations. And if we can, I mean, there's a lot of us. We can do a lot of research pretty quickly. Um, and, you know, we communicate well. 24 hours. So, We're given 24 hours. Right. Uh, so that's something we should definitely be doing. That, that just deciding yes, no. Like, let's make sure we're hooking our wagon to a decent situation here, number one. And number two, as far as making demands, the problem that we're having is we're legally unable to make demands. We have no place to go in order to be able to forcefully address the situation that we're, that we're facing. So if we're not making those demands rather forcefully, then what's, what, what's the difference? He's a civil rights worker. Like, is would be like. I, I mean, I want to talk to him personally. And that's why I was feeling very bad about being omitted from this discussion because um, he has amazing things to say. Uh, he understands a lot of the issues in Richmond that we don't see because of the color. I think we need to. Mic check! Mic check! Come together! Come together! 
Each group, for each group.